Tony D and Little Joan, and this is a screenwriter's rant on The Perfect Couple, starring Nicole Kidman and Liev Shriver as the perfect couple that hide a ter terrible secret. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Har in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 14, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So this is uh, sort of like a Kennedy-esque family, and someone drowns on the beach, but the cops think they maybe it was murdered. From Susan Bear, award-winning director of Bird Box. Really? You put that on your resume? The Night Manager. Eh, the Undoing. I would mention Bird Box, though. Um... Anyhow, Lee Schreiber is the patriarch, Nicole Kidman is the matriarch, and someone drowns and then it's a big to-do. Uh, Dakota Johnson's in it. They're all insanely rich. And I gotta tell you, this is one of the worst trailers ever, because it doesn't really get into the story. It just gives you little sound bites of the characters, but they're all rich and annoying people. So wh why did you think those would be good sound bites? Like, it doesn't make them interesting. It just makes them like, really? Really? Dakota Johnson, like, is breaking up a fight, and she goes, hey, 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 this is vintage. You know, maybe if you had established her character as being really superficial and petty, that would have landed, but since you're kind of broad-brushing, like, a rich family, and then there's a murder, it's not really... Uh, landing for me and then the the theme song of this is you're just too good to be true can't take my eyes off of you and they just keep repeating you're just too good to be true over and over again in the uh, uh, trailer in order to like emphasize that yeah they're too good to be true okay we get it a murder happened so maybe they're and it's called the perfect couple and they're actually not Wow, deep. September 5th is the day on Netflix. I, you know, I, I watched this whole trailer. Uh, and I don't really know who died. I don't know the motivation. I just know there's a bunch of rich people in a house where someone drowns and then the cops come. That's about it. And then there's something more to it. But the trailer just dances around that. It doesn't give you any real data here. So who am I rooting for? Who's really the main characters in this movie? Is it Liev Shriver and Nicole Kidman? Is it some of their kids? What What's going on? Why not tell us? Why not have a couple of lines like, this guy kind of looks like Corey Feldman's cousin, doesn't he? Uh, a couple of lines like, oh, look out. You know, I think he killed her because he's having an affair or something like that. And this woman's pregnant, so she's in it too. She says something. She kind of have an interesting line like, uh, it's better to be off to the side in this family or whatever. But, like, don't really get into the details. You're just too busy tantalizing us with the idea there's been a murder. So what? That's not a... Look, in the context of a trailer... Okay, that's information, but it's not that big of a deal. Like, you can't just coast on the on the rest of the trailer on, oh, there's going to be a murder in this movie. Huh. Like, that's so what? Uh, tell us why this is different. Tell us why you give a crap about these rich people and their problems. Now, this is a cop. I shouldn't stay on him. Um, yeah, there's some beautiful people, and they're rich. Oh, it's sexy time. So what? Tell us something about the murder. Tell us the motivations. Tell us something. Like, is it even a TV show? It looks more like a TV show. Is it a movie? Well, kick it up. You only got two hours to impress us. Give give some away. Give me something here to work with. Um, first act. They're all rich. <laughs> They're all rich and they all get together and everybody talks about how great they are and then suddenly there's a drowning oh but there's more to it than it seems and then the police investigate 
for what reason? We don't know. And, uh, oh, then surprise, surprise, there's more to this family. And it turns out one killed the other. And it was a murder. And it wasn't an accidental drowning. And there was a probably an affair behind it. And then the big exposure at the end. Or is this a TV show? I don't know. feels like a TV show. Now let's read the write-up. The perfect life has the most to hide. Not really true, but okay. Amelia Sachs, I mean, put that in the trailer if, you, if that's what you're going with. Amelia Sachs is about to marry into one of the wealthiest families on Nantucket. None of that's in the trailer. None of that's in the trailer. Maybe a little hint that maybe somebody's new and maybe somebody's getting married, but that they're the wealthiest family in Nantucket and this is a big deal. I mean, why not give us a couple lines on that? Her disapproving future mother-in-law, famous novelist Greer Garrison Winbury, has spared <laughs> Jesus. Greer Garrison Winbury has spared no expense in planning what promises to be a premier wedding of the season until a body turns up on the beach. As secrets come to light, the stage is set for a real-life investigation that feels plucked from the pages of one of Greer's novels. Suddenly, everyone is a suspect. Start I. Again, like, a lot of this isn't in the trailer. Like, this is stuff that doesn't give the plot away. That she's a novelist? Tell us. Tell us. Give us that line. This sounds like it's been plucked by one of your, out of one of your novels, Greer. Uh, you're one of the richest families in Nantucket. Like, these are um, important facts. You put it in the synopsis. Why wouldn't you put it in the trailer? Watch the new limited series. Okay, so it is a limited series. All right, it felt like a series. So that makes a little more sense. So, but still, one murder? Why not say limited? Uh, maybe it said it in the, let's see, did it say it? No, only on Netflix. Netflix does this. They don't tell you the movies, the TV shows, the limited series. Really ought to make that clear, what we're getting into. A five-part limited series. So basically a five-hour movie. A ten-part limited series. Basically a ten-hour movie. Um, so we're going to drill down into all these characters. They're not very interesting. At least in a trailer. And this is a limited series. So I, I assume you had a lot to draw from. At least give us the deets on the potential murder. Who was it? Who was it? Is that supposed to be a surprise? Are you hiding that aspect of it? I don't know who would want to see this. I, I guess it's aimed more at a female audience. Soap opery people who like soap opery stuff. But even that, it just feels a little empty. Ah, you frustrate me, Netflix. You frustrate me. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D. And little Joan. Check us out on the other platforms. You know what they are. I said it yesterday, but I'm not going to say it today. But it's the green site, the orange site, and the black site. You can see the links below. I'm testing out a theory. I accidentally mentioned it the other day. I want to see if all the hits go down, but maybe not. <laughs> so, um, events. I will be at the Valenzano Winery tomorrow from 5 to 7 for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Uh, then Saturday, I'll be at Moods Farm from 10 to 5 for the Big Blueberry Festival. And Sunday, I will be at the Pirates and Mermaids uh, event at the Dragon Shops in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Hope to see you there. We'll see you.